be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. With profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nasze programy oferują wiele języków. Prosimy zobaczyć suprememastertv.com ukośnik schedule. I was in Japan once and I came in about five degrees or two degrees at night or maybe less, you know. All around it was just snow and inside my tent the ice formed. The kind of snow flower ice all over inside the tent. Beautiful. <laughs> I didn't have a sleeping bag. I just used a normal Japanese blanket, you know, to cover, cotton covers or something like that. Thick but not warm enough, not insulating enough. Maybe it wasn't a very good idea. But I survived for one or two weeks, two weeks something. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan. Imagine living in a world where all we eat and drink tastes like pure nectar with no blood in it. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. In Barbados, you can impress the locals by asking Waganon, which means what's going on, in their mother tongue of Bajan. Cheers to friends, I'm Thelma. The genuine Barbadian people praise you for your generosity and compassion in assisting others. May heaven's blessings overflow in your life. Barbados is a Caribbean island country with the Atlantic Ocean on its eastern side and the Caribbean Sea on the west side, with dazzling white soft sand beaches, turquoise waters, and welcoming Barbadians, or Bajans as they are locally known. The island attracts visitors from all over the world. One can view the gifts of nature through places like Harrison's Cave, as well as the Barbados Wildlife Reserve, where the beautiful green monkey people is found. The island has two magnificent baobab trees as well, one of which is thought to be more than 1,000 years old. The tree measures 17 meters in circumference and is 27 meters tall. The baobab tree, nicknamed the Tree of Life, is considered a symbol of life and positivity. When visiting Barbados, the historic capital city of Bridgetown is not to be missed. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Bridgetown features buildings such as the Jewish Synagogue, built in 1654. The synagogue has been preserved in honor of the original Jewish people 
who came to the island and helped create what became a thriving sugarcane industry. Barbados's Morgan Lewis Windmill is one of its original sugarcane production sites, where fresh cane juice can still be enjoyed today. We enjoyed showcasing the laid-back island of Barbados for you, joyful viewers. May your divine nature be forever awakened in God's grace. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Sakamuni Buddha, Vegan, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, Visitarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Confucius, Visitarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, Visitarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Lao Tzu, Vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, Vegan, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, Visitarian, Peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Visitarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, receives the love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gucci Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, and going support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hot, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful gathering entitled Master Reminiscence, Part 3 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on January 8, 2006, in Surrey, the United Kingdom. Just a really happy time. So even then, afterward, we had land, we had, you know, more stable tents, more stable land, more stable caves, more stable house. Even I never felt as happy. Is there any place we could live free like that again, ever? In Europe, somewhere? Huh? Tell me. If you don't mind, the weather in Sweden, I think. What, what? In Sweden. <laughs> Sweden? How can you live in a tent in Sweden? Yeah, yeah. the country is not very cold. Though. How cold? For you, Swedes, not for us. <laughs> well, it could be sometimes minus five, minus ten. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's like midnight, but daytime, the weather is more or less like, like UK. Yeah? Yeah, but it's brighter, it's sunny in day. Okay. And the land is much cheaper. So much cheaper. And you, you, there's sea view in Sweden, especially the south part of Sweden. Mm -hmm. And you're allowed to tend if you buy the land. Yeah? How do you and know? It's very, very cheap. Compared even to Surrey, not talking about London, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, okay, okay. But I don't even want to buy land, that's the point. <laughs> tend, yeah. I'm not sure if I buy land, I would be that happy or not. It's not the same feeling, you know? It still feels like a tie or an obligation. Yeah, we had land in many areas, you know that. I had land in Maoli and after that, but it doesn't feel the same as when I was on the river and rely on nature. We cook in the open with three, three stones <laughs> and a pot on top and with wood, and the wood we didn't even buy. 
and we had a very small budget. Or maybe I have too much money now, I don't know. It's not the same. But thank you, maybe I will consider that. How many disciples are in Sweden who want, <laughs> who want to freeze in a tent? All together, I mean, the disciples that come to group meditation regularly is, should be around 30, 40. Mm, that's not bad. Considering I went there only once. <laughs> Yeah, but when I think of Sweden, I think, oh, boo. Yeah. you know. That's just like no part of Sweden. It's not part of Sweden. The weather is more yeah. less than the UK. Yeah, and they have land to sell in. Yes, the... yes, plenty of them because the population is very small. Why? It's only like nine million. million. Okay, fine. And what do we have to eat there? What can we roast? Is there a vegan? <laughs> 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 And there are plenty of land and the mm-hmm. view and not, not too expensive. Yeah, but is it foggy and that? Um, same, huh? Same like the UK? No, Brighton, not, not as foggy as UK. Like Brighton? Um, no, it Brighton. is brighter. Brighter. <sighs> I never thought of Sweden as a traveling place because it's so cold. That's what I think, you know? Yeah. Uh, the, the picture <laughs> we, we have in the mind and the picture on the map. <laughs> Where? On the map. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sure it's a nice country and the people are nice too. Yeah. And people are not as complaining, you know, they, they don't really care what you're doing. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> they don't care what you're doing until you do it <laughs> next to them. Yeah, it could be all right. But if it's so cold, I don't know if we could live in tent or not. Yeah, you mean it could be really cold, so... Yeah, I can. Because the tent camping... No, no, no. It's just for summer. Yeah, because in winter, in the camp, if you don't have a heater, some people could get ill. It could get cold into your bones and all that. Maybe you get used to it after a while, but I don't intend to subject any of you to such kind of unnecessary ascetism, <laughs> even though we could become Buddha in that way. <laughs> Too cold to think of anything else. <laughs> yeah, it could be good, huh? But it may, I don't know if it's too cold or not, you know. I mean, at night, it's mm-hmm. cold for like a um, period of like four months. Yeah, oh, it's too much. Yeah, I was in Japan once and I came in about five degrees or two degrees at night or maybe less, you know. All around it was just snow and inside my tent the ice formed, the kind of snow flower ice all over inside the tent. It's beautiful. <laughs> maybe I wasn't equipped enough. I didn't have a sleeping bag. I just used a normal Japanese blanket, you know, the cover, cotton covers or something like that. Thick, but not warm enough, not insulating enough. Maybe it wasn't a very good idea. But I survived for one or two weeks, two weeks something. <laughs> I ate just cold stuff, didn't even cook. Even noodles, I ate dry <laughs> and drink water after. <laughs> cold water also. Just normal water from the tap, you know, inside, but I don't drink it. I don't remember if I drink some warm water sometimes. But it's very cold at night, difficult to to sleep. I guess I didn't have enough food either, not enough nutrition, and that makes you cold too. I guess you could live in some such situations for a while. I don't know how long. And some people, older people, you know, oh, I'm getting older, <laughs> the bones <laughs> complain. So Sweden's not that cold. How come everybody lives in the north? Why not the south if it's so nice? No, no, it is uh, more people in the south of Sweden. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh-huh. But less than other countries, is that what you mean? Nine million? Uh, nine million. The whole of Sweden? Yes, the whole Sweden. My God! Mm-hmm. But it seems like a big and powerful country. It's I not... mean, economical, I mean... Yeah, I know. It. But how can... Wow, there must be very strong folks. Only nine million, and they make themselves like one of the world's rich and powerful countries. It's, it's that impression eh? must be good government then, eh? yeah. good people. Wow, some lucky people, huh? Mm. And you meditate there, people say nothing? Um, no. In your house, right? No, no. Because uh, we meditate in our house, and it's uh, about 10, 12 uh-huh. people in the neighborhood. Oh, there's not much. Oh, I have to think. <laughs> okay, I could go home now, huh? <laughs> you guys still stay here until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Oh, some of you, huh? 
Some go home, right? Yeah. yeah okay. I think I go home, and you guys rest or meditate, okay? Good. I sit here, I keep talking, <laughs> and we talk enough, right? <laughs> I really still think that was a good time. But suppose, huh? It sounds like it sounds like a good time. It was so carefree. But because I was young as well, you know. Maybe because I was young, you know, no bad experiences, or idealistic and. Naive, you know, <laughs> invincible. <laughs> so when we're young, we're more invincible. Not so much, too much worries. No, I didn't think much because I didn't have many bad experiences. So you can go ahead like the deaf people; they're not worried about the gun. They're not afraid of the gun. <laughs> That's what we say in Vietnam: the deaf people don't hear the gun. <laughs> I don't know if I live like that again. Would I be happy or not? I tell you what, recently even when I was in the cave, also almost independent, water from the rain, from the waterfall, and I used wood, wood from around the forest, but I didn't use much wood because there was some oil, you know. I had some assistance, or so they brought oil inside, so it was more convenient. And the oil heater, you could cook on top of it as well. Simple meal. Oh, we, we could cook big meals as well. We could cook for four people. A big pot like this, four people and five dog people. So it was big enough, yeah? The oil, the oil lamp. Otherwise, you can cook with gas or wood nowadays. In the forest, if you want to cook with wood, and a small fire, and then you have to build, how you say, stone all around the fire. And always stay there and don't leave because if the wind blows it away, and after you cook, you have to use water to uh, extinguish the fire, yeah? Like that. There's no problem. Otherwise, in the forest, it can be tricky, huh? In case you do that in forest anywhere, you have to use a big, clear area and always water afterward to extinguish any hot coals underneath until no more smoke coming out of that under the ash, yeah? Then you know it's gone. Otherwise, sometimes it's just a little coal underneath and then it will glow more and more and it glow and then it will fly away and then the forest can be burnt. In no time. You better be careful. But uh, when I was in the cave, I like it very much. Nobody around, even alone, you know. Nobody around at night or so. Just sleep alone, meditate alone, and it feels very independent and very good. Oh, my God. And then the police came and messed all up. <laughs> and I didn't feel appetite anymore. Could they say all kinds of things? Yeah. Theme park, my food. <laughs> that's that's the last thing that I ever want. <laughs> I wanted to be alone there, <laughs> the theme park. Uh, Jesus. It has to be more natural also, you know. Oh, but that land I bought, I bought that, so it didn't feel too bad. It's different. It has to be natural, you know. It has to be natural. It has to be abundant in natural resources, like water. That's all I need, water and wood. That's all we need, really. You can keep warm by that. And you can cook, yeah, you can wash yourself. Or just go without food, then it's fine. But it will be a little more boring <laughs> the whole day. <laughs> whole day, not much to do. I was so nice. Maybe one day it will happen again. Who knows, huh? How about in Cork? Is it very cold, baby? The water and everything. We have big land and yeah. can come and all that. Yeah. Yeah, near where you live. You know that? You bought a big farm. You did? If you did. You did? No, I didn't. No. But what? There, there was a. Who bought a big farm? No, you could buy a big farm. <laughs> oh, I thought you say you did. And there's big old houses sold every now and then. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Lots of land and woods. Mm. But they've gone expensive now because. A lot of people go there, and it's a good good area, and it's next to Gatwick. Oh, man. Of course. I'm too late. <laughs> the thing is, uh, you can buy expensive land and live on it, but it doesn't feel like fun anymore. Even if you can afford it, it feels like a burden, you know, like an obligation. The, the land and the cave I bought, it was very cheap and very big, and you felt free, you know, you felt like nobody would come. <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> the karma comes any time. 
anybody doesn't come except karma come anywhere oh my god it was so big like 120 something hectares that's uh, 300 plus acres right 120 30 hectares with forests evergreen forests and you had tons of animal people and then you had deer people you had mountain goat people beautiful white and black and color and you had pig people running around rabbits birds people you had those chicken people wild chicken and peacock people all over yeah so I built a big dam of lake for them to drink because sometimes summer doesn't have water. And I could have taken care of that land and the animal people forever, but okay, I don't need to anymore. And I made the road and everything nice, and then they could come up and harass me before nobody dare and nobody bothered because the road was so bad and bumpy and holy everywhere. Nobody even wanted to go there. <laughs> I heard that some people wanted to go there and buy the land, and they just look at it from like three, four kilometers away, because the mountain you, you can look far. And the realtor asked, do you, do you want to go there and look, or is enough here? I said, enough here. <laughs> <laughs> and they would return that nobody would go in there because of the road. It was so bad, because it was just a dirt road, and the mountain, when there was rain, big holes everywhere. And you couldn't even run on it. And then I made it all flat again, nice, and then the police came up. So easy now, boom, boom, all came up there and made trouble. Say this and that and that and blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Um, well, maybe it will happen again, huh? Russia, go home now. In everything I create, my intention is to share the vision of a vegan world where every animal is respected, protected and loved. My art seeks to awaken a deep appreciation for and recognition of the sacred soul, beauty and individuality of animals. Beth Lily Redwood Vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. So I felt so free. I felt so free. I could live there forever. But then I think the world's karma <laughs> called me out so that I can go and visit you guys. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> That's the problem, you know? So I think it's not really the police, but it's just you guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not just you, the whole world crying. My God, so big and can't even live alone. <laughs> so old already, some of you have beers and <laughs> grandchildren still crying like kids. Endearing viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Master Reminiscences, Part 3 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is The Glory of God from the First Epistle to the Corinthians by St. Paul, Vegetarian, in the Holy Bible, Part 2 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you gently manifest God's glory in everything you do. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD 